Hey yo, what's going on everybody? It's Tyler, it's aka Ty Killington. Yeah, man. All right, listen, today's video got a banger for you, baby. I got my new personal best. I set a personal record for a speed run on the Cayo Perico heist. Okay. Now listen, I'm not one for you know speed runs and this and that. You know, it's just it's just fun every now and again. I don't have to you know have the fastest this or whatever. It's just not that's just not my style, right? I prefer progress over perfection. However, it is fun to challenge yourself and kind of, you know, compete against yourself. That's what I like to do. Everybody else can just kind of kick rocks, you know what I mean? So with the Cayo Perico heist, there is a unique and very rare opportunity to be able to get a, a speed run in, right? So what's really rare to get in the Cayo Perico heist? The pink diamond, right? What's even more rare than that? getting two paintings in the office. That's the main thing that lets you know you can set up a speed run, all right? Now, before we go any further, you know what to do. Subscribe, turn on notifications, ring the bell, and drop a like right now. You know this is going to be a banger. Let's go ahead and do it. Let's try and get 500 likes in this video. This is a lot of fun, okay? So what I want you guys to do right now in the comments, post what your fastest time is on the Cayo Perico heist, okay? Now, listen, there are a few things that you have to keep in mind. For a legit speed run, in my book, these are my rules, it's got to be on hard mode. There cannot be any exploits, okay? You got to get full bags, obviously, and you have to complete the elite challenge. All right, that is my kind of criteria. So if you're saying you got like this time or whatever, but you you know, you glitched in or what, you know, Jack Hardy, look, I'm talking to you, all right? <laughs> Just kidding. But um, yeah, so those are the criteria you got to follow. So if you meet those criteria, I want you guys to post your fastest times down there. And then challenge yourself. Compete against yourself. See if you can't break that. Now, this is the only bad thing is that you're going to have to wait until you get double paintings in the office, which is kind of a pain in the butt. But until then, get your route down and you know just try and beat your best time every single time, okay, and see what you can't get. Now, this route, this is kind of weird. There's a weird couple of things that happened on this, but I'll take it because, you know, again, I was following the guidelines and the criteria right there. Um, and, you know, I could have easily gotten a little bit quicker on this. You don't even have to kill these guards right here. I just kind of wanted to make sure that I didn't have any issues, which we did anyways, <laughs> but you guys will see that in just a minute. Here we go. Here comes the first painting. And moving in, in first person, but if you guys didn't know, Moving around in first-person mode is faster than moving around in third-person mode, but the moving, like the the mechanics, are very clunky. So you have to be careful, and you have to understand kind of like you know how to navigate and move around, especially in a tight office like this or a little tight area. So pay attention to that. All right, you'll get caught up on desks and drawers and stuff like that. Oh, and yeah, one more thing I forgot to mention: you got to get the money from the safe. Okay, you have to maximize your money as best you can. All right, so keep that in mind too. These are the criteria. These these are Tylerius' criteria to the speedrunner. So you have to make sure you follow my criteria, right? That's just the way that, it, hey, listen, that's that's the right way to go, okay? It honestly is. You can't just roll up in there, grab the primary, and then dip out and say that was, you know, come on, come on, boo. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't count. I'm sorry. I don't care. There's certain criteria that have to be followed, okay? So right here is our first little snag. This guard. Because you're in the office a little bit longer than you expect because you're cutting those paintings out, that guard is going to be timed to where he's going to turn up those stairs right there while you're jumping out, right? Amazingly, he got a couple of rounds off on me. I was able to kill him in time, though. The alarm did not go off. Hey, that's okay. As long as that alarm doesn't go off, you're good to go, right? So I marked him out. The guards didn't hear anything. And, you know, the time I got, again, I could, I could probably have shaved about... 30 seconds off of this time, but this is really, you know, I haven't had uh, double paintings in the office since the very first week that Kayo came out. That's how rare it is. Let me repeat that. I have not had double paintings since the Kayo came out the first week. Very, very rare. So, but if you have watched me in the past, if you watch my live streams, you know that, you know, I always try and challenge myself on the Kayo heist. I always try and get uh, the Coco, the Elite Challenge, everything, right? And on this, my primary was the Bear Bonds, which is also beneficial because from my experience, getting getting the Bear Bonds and just you know, hacking or you know, putting the code in is much quicker than cutting through 
the glass. You know, again, I haven't really compared the two scientifically, but it just feels that way, right? As you see right here, I just burned through the code and we're good to go. So I feel like cutting through the glass takes a little bit longer, maybe not too much, but that was also a help right there. All right. And whenever you get the chance to, if you don't need to have your weapon out, put your weapon away because it'll also make you move a little bit quicker. All right. Didn't get the jump on the first one. I had to get it the second time. And because the timing is off, this guard is walking towards you and he saw me. But again, I hit that little button in time and the alarm did not go off. So if you get the opportunity, use what you're seeing here. If you get the double paintings, pay attention to what you're what you're doing. Mark out that guard right there because the timing will be as such to where he is right going to be, you know, right there next to that actual gate. So mark him out. Mark out the guard down low. Don't forget he's going to see you. So keep that in mind. Come with this guy right here. Mark him out. Jump on the bike. And you don't have to go first person once you're on the bike. It's all good. It's a little bit easier. Actually, it's a lot easier to it's kind of like, you know, drive the uh, the dirt bike. And you can kind of see a little bit more. And then you're out. Just take this route that I go. This is really the meta route. It's awesome. It's very fast. Even if you're not doing a speed run, this is the way to go. I do a little X Games flare right here. All right, nothing wrong with that. And, you know, honestly, this was a rough run. But this is only thing that I really had to compare it to. Right, this is the only thing that I can set for a bar now and go forward with it. And we're good to go, man. So we get this. We're going into the whale's skeleton to trigger out. And we'll see what my time was. And I, I did this live on stream. It was a lot of fun. We had a blast with it. It's a good time. So there we go. We get the black screen. We exit out. Going to go hang out with Mini Madrazo real quick. Right. <laughs> Back on mainland. Going to deliver the goods. Two duffel bags because one just isn't enough. Okay. All right. Let's run the stats. See what we got here. Character walks off. Heist passed. Solo, of course. Potential take. It was so, that's just so, such a troll that Rockstar does that. Actual take. 100% of the cuts. Got that. Elite Challenge. Six minutes and 15 seconds was my run. Pretty good. I normally stick around like nine, ten minutes, so that's pretty good right there. Full loot bags. Elite Challenge is complete. 1,562,530 bucks. Six minutes and 15 seconds. So that's great. I would love to do this with two people next time. Uh, and see if I can't, you know, get a really fast run with two people, maybe, you know, kind of step it up to three and then four and just see what our best times can go from there. But yeah, the only bad thing is that it is it's so difficult to get double paintings in that office. That's really the best way to get your elite. Now, if you got two people, you can hit the gold up. You can go that route right there, which I kind of want to do that as well. I think that'd be a lot of fun. And as of right now, that's my personal record. I can't wait to get paintings again in the future. Hopefully it doesn't take like a whole year to get them again. And I want to see if I can't beat my own time and compete against myself. All right. I hope this video helped out. I hope it inspired you. Thank you all so much for coming out. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for the Ill to Reels content in the game. Smash, I mean, smash that like button. We'll see you guys in the next one. All right. Peace out. Yeah.